Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Recap. I just came out here for a quick little rant, okay? Because I just got done watching DJ Richie Sky. If you don't know who that is, please go to his channel. He also does recaps. And he basically said the same thing I had been saying about basketball wives Orlando, okay? And he kind of said the same thing with L.A., um, I, like I said before, I haven't really watched LA. I kind of get look um snippets towards the end when I'm waiting on Basketball Wives Orlando, but he basically was like, you know, too much drama packed in to one little episode in the beginning, and basically said, um, you know, we don't even know these women, and y'all already got us involved in some mess. Like, can we get to know them? And I totally agree. Now, he, he actually said this it's going on with L.A. as well. So, y'all know I'm just recapping Orlando based off the simple fact that Neek is um on it. I'm not really caring about these other folks that's on there. <laughs> so, in my last video that I posted this morning when I did the recap, um, I talked about... Um, Lindsay and I'm like why is she here I don't even know who this woman is but y'all got her y'all she brought up some random mess um and we don't even know who she is so it's throwing people off because y'all literally are bringing on mess and we're not even understanding who these women's women are how are they connected to the back like we get a quick little introduction and then boom that's it and two of them we didn't even really get to know and you know we seen little snippets of what Nick does but like i said and look we don't even know what mckenzie do <laughs> outside of being Nick's boyfriend's baby mama and danielle's ex fiance's new girlfriend we don't know nothing about paul mckenzie like it's very much a mess <laughs> I honestly, in my opinion, I don't think this franchise is going to last because if it does, I'll be shocked. <laughs> if it make it to season two, I'll be shocked. And um, another thing that I want to touch bases on that um, DJ Richie Sky said, he brought up the fact that um, they kept referring, going back to last summer. And he was like, it was clips uh, flashbacking to, um, I guess he said like, he think that they might have started shooting and they just didn't have enough content. So they just put it in to this episode. These at well, the first episode, I didn't see no flashbacks. I don't remember seeing flashbacks in the last. But um I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I honestly just thought maybe they just like, okay, let's shoot this scene and pretend like this happened and then we just gonna flashback. Because I watch YouTube and I watched when Neek goes to Orlando. And she, this was like the first time she was in Orlando for an extended period of time. So I remember she went, I think she went last year, but it wasn't for, it wasn't this as long as she's been there this time. And she's shown it. So I don't know, <laughs> honestly. But honestly, this is a mess. <laughs> This is a hot mess, um, and I don't think people really care for it. Um, like I said, I only watched DJ Richie Sky's recap. Um, I want to see if Kim Pyre did it. I'm not sure, and I'm going to see if somebody else recapped Orlando because, like I said, I'm only watching it because Neek is on there. If she wasn't on there, I really probably would have just gave it two episodes like um, DJ Richie Sky is. He literally said... Um, I watched the recap from last week. So he was like, I'm going to give it one more episode. And I know after this episode, he probably ain't going to recap it no more. He hasn't posted this review yet when I'm recording this. But I'm a, whenever he does, I'm going to watch it and see what he has to say. But like I said um, in my recap, it was just too much mess. Like I wish we could have got to know these women individually and why they are here before we just jump ship into miss 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 like it's too messy too soon you know it was it would have been refreshing to like see each individual i feel like the only person we really got to see 
and under like well not even really understand but to see um was ashley we kind of got uh, a little bit of her but we only really see her and her sh her store was her storyline and then the beef with morgan that was like the main deal and that's the same with morgan she's a single mama the mama of three to an ex in ex um nba player and she's here visiting she doesn't live in Orlando. So, my thing is, like, what's their ties to Orlando? We get it. Okay, so the only tie I know that Nick has to Orlando is Dwayne, but Dwayne don't play for our Orlando team. He just, he's from Florida, though. Um, What part, I don't know, but he's from Florida. But why is Megan here? Why is Miss Nikki Nicole here? Why is, McK okay, so McKenzie's there because... Her baby daddy is there, and but she's now dating this new NBA player. But where is he at? <laughs> like, I don't get it. You know, people talk about, oh, this is supposed to be basketball wives. Where's the wives? Baby, where is the context behind them being on this show? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to rant about it. A kudos to them for getting on TV. But what is the background? You have people confused because they don't know what... Like, they don't know why these people are here. I'm still trying to figure out why certain people are here. Like, Lindsay, who is her man? Why is she here? <laughs> Nick and Nicole, who is her? Like, y'all see these little captions and these little titles. Um, I mean, whatever, the little overlay with the text about who they are and how they're connected. But can we get an explanation like, when they come in, like, y'all just be having people come in and they don't even be telling who they is, why they here, and what they doing here, who they, who brought them here. Like, Megan supposedly brought all these group of women here, but how are they connected into the game itself? So, like, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And I don't like that because I really, I'm rooting for Neek. Like, I'm very supportive of Neek. So I'm rooting for her and I'm like, I'm rooting for my girl. But I don't think this franchise, I'll be shocked, honestly. I'll be shocked if we get a season two. Because at this rate, it should not be rebooted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, or if it if it is rebooted, can we like get a do over or something? Because this is just too much at one time. Y'all have brought on too much mess at one time and i don't like that i don't like that so do y'all think this show will be rebooted like do y'all well not rebooted but do y'all think you know there'll be a season two because i honestly i'd be surprised you know i'm rooting for neek but i'd be surprised because the way they <sighs> doing this little franchise is it's not good and to hear that L.A. is like the same thing, same way. See, I haven't watched L.A. because I don't know who those women are <laughs> in my Kiki Palmer voice. And I miss Malaysia <laughs> already. But I do, I did notice like it was some mess already. And DJ Richie was like, um, he would have, he wished he could have saw, you know, the Brooke and um Jackie have they sit down and um Brooke and Jen and then Jen and Evelyn he wished they would have started off with that before they introduced some new beef because it's it's still some skeletons in the closet with that stuff and I'm like oh my god so they didn't even touch bases on what how last season ended and all this mess they just go straight into some new drama <laughs> like I get it y'all want to come in hot but don't come in too hot. Just warm us up a little bit. Let us ball, simmer, or something. <laughs> but y'all, that's just my quick little rant. Like I said, I, I'm wishing well for my girl, Neek. I'm only watching this show because of her. And I feel like a lot of people in the YouTube that know her, YouTube community that know her, are only watching because of her. Like, I would not be watching this franchise if it wasn't for her, honestly. But y'all let me know down in the comment section below. How do y'all feel about Best Wives Orlando, Best Buy Wives Orlando, and Best Buy Wives LA? Like I said, I haven't watched LA, but I'm going to start watching it. Um, Probably not going to recap it if it's the same mess as Orlando. Like I said, I'm only recapping Orlando because of Neek. And Neek wasn't even in the last episode. I'm very pissed off about that. But, um, yeah, what y'all think about it? How y'all feel about it so far? 
um leave y'all comments down below like comment share and also subscribe to your girl channel we on a road to 1000 subscribers press that bell notification so you can be notified every time i post a new video because it'd be random as hell all right y'all i'll talk to y'all later peace